here's what I'm going to tell you from all of my science background. Okay. Are that there are words being added to the scientific community that are being imposed upon us to counteract the actual effects that we should be agreeing to that we are right. not. For example, centripetal, centripetal force is a new, within the last 15, 20 years, word that it's being used. Okay? It was never, ever, ever an issue 50 years ago. You will not find it in any reference book, in any physics book 50 years ago, ever. Okay. So what, I, what, I, what I'm trying to say is a lot of flat earthers and round earthers arguments right now. And because what I'm really worried, what I'm really concerned about, Nathan, and I've talked about this, is, dude, you're, we're all humans on this earth. I don't give a damn whether you think it's round, flat. What I care about is the truth. And I'm going to, I'm like, I don't know if it's team skeptic or I come from a position of I don't care what you believe, but don't feel bad. I don't care what I believe. Please don't lie to me and tell me you're a teacher because that's. Hey, 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 hey. hey. I, a, I disagree. Hey. To instruct. That's what my, my degree is. Thank you. Oh, actually, your degree is in um, like management oh. and stuff. I just looked it up. It's not a science no, degree. It's not. At all, so. Instructional guys, design guys, and technology guys. is not in management. Big, big J. Big J. Where did you get your physics degree? First of all, let me ask you this question first, as it's why does someone need a degree in physics in order to be a physicist? Many wait wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Was Einstein, did Einstein have a physics degree? Because if not, then you can't use him as an example. Again, did Newton wait, did Newton so have a physics you degree? Slipped up yeah. big. You know, when you said you no, your argument, your no, argument. you have no Can argument. Can I finish a thought without getting another question? Go ahead. I'll tell you where you slipped up. The fact okay, that please. you said weight, the fact that you said weight has nothing to do with gravity makes me wonder, where did you get your physics degree? You said you're a physicist, and you said you're a Hey, Jesse, scientist. hey, Jesse, before you ask him where he got his physics, dude, all you got to do is give us some scientific evidence for gravity. Do you have any? Ready? Go. You're answer. You're asking. You're answering my question with another unrelated okay, well, question. Hold on. All right. So okay. I'll answer your Nathan, question. I'll, Nathan, I'll concede that. Let me. Because I'll hold on. You asked me where I got my physics degree. Do you have a master's? Yes. Degree? Yes or no? Oh, uh, see, you're moving the goalpost. No, no, no. You're moving no, no, the goalpost. No, no. He just asked the question. And, and you're, wait, you're wait, responding. Wait, wait. Jesse, you no, just you're answering question. my question with a question. Because your question, again, is a strong argument. You're asking about a physics degree. I'm asking you if you have a master's degree, because I can trump you if not. So I'm trying to establish a basis of equilibrium here, and, I, and I'm betting my, I'm betting $1,000 there isn't an equilibrium here. But you want to throw a degree in my face because you think that that, that establishes some kind of truth. Yep. So before you, before you establish that, I have a master's of science degree. Let's just go there. Do you have one? Oh, uh, so you are conceding that you do not have a physics degree and no, therefore no. are not a physicist. No, no. So you no, no. were not telling the truth there, no, no. were you? Hey, Einstein didn't have a physics degree either, buddy. Wait, wait. What is the def? Okay, let's go back to let's go back to elementary school, Jesse. What is the definition of scientist? Mm-hmm. What is the definition of a scientist? Do you know? So, so are you going to answer my question 
where did you get your physics degree? No. Why straw man argument. argument. Or not. Jesse, straw man. Your, argu your argument's a straw man argument. Yeah. Do you have, in fact, my question is far more valuable. It's a question. I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing anything. You stated. Jesse, Jesse, stay with me here, buddy. Do you have a master's of science degree? Yes or no? Yes or no? I asked. Yes or no? A, I asked. He a asked you a first, question, Jesse. And you're at, Jesse, I, I, answer his and question. You're responding to my question no, with answered, an unrelated I've already question. question. I've, already your question. I've already answered your question. I'm asking you to answer so my what question. What was the answer? I'm, I missed your answer. I missed your I answer. I'm sorry. What, what was your... I don't have a physics Thank degree. You. Wait, but, All right, Jesse. Wait, now so, answer his question. So Jesse, we're in the middle of a conversation. Jesse, please do not straw man JM again with the claim he needs a degree to be a physicist. And and um, Benjamin, could you mute your uh, speakers down all the way down, please? I can still hear myself. Jesse, you're yeah. you're making the assumption as everyone does that you have to have a, a degree in order to be an established authority on a figure. That is a taught that is a taught understanding by a flawed system. That we're taught as children through the system that, oh, I have to go to college. Oh, I have to have a degree. Oh, my God, this doctor's got to have a physicist degree in order to be a physicist. Hey, guess what? That's not – that doesn't make somebody an established authority. All it means is so, that – go ahead. Could you please tell me where you got your degrees – and what field of science, or whatever your degree is, Absolutely, is in? Sure. Absolutely. My bachelor's degree is in film production, and not just... <laughs> Hold on. Hold on there, genius. Because I'm going to okay, show you okay. why it's applicable. Did you know that science is biology, chemistry, biochemistry, physics, and the technology and environmental sciences? So... Anything having to do with technology is also part of science. Why? Because it has what we call a variable, a testable variable, okay, which science has to have. So astronomy is not a science. Astrophysics, not a science, because there's no testable, no variable testable, or no testable variable in those sciences. So film production, however, is. Now, the reason film production is relevant, Jesse, is because you were taught, like I was taught, we all were taught, that they walked on the moon. The problem with that is someone with my expertise can go into those videos, tear them apart, and show you that those are men on wires, that there's two different light sources coming. Because as a producer, Jesse, as a film producer, Jesse, which is also what I am, okay, I have the authority in that technical field in order to explain that. So first problem, again, sit down, school's now in session. My second my second degree is in instructional design and technology, which is also, as I just established, a science. Now, here's – before you laugh, here's the, here's the point. An instructional design and technology degree means that you know the, you know the books that you get in school that you read? I'm the person that puts those books together, Jesse. I'm the one that actually is responsible for teaching or for establishing – the teaching tools that you use in school. So that also makes me a subject matter expert basically on anything that I present because I have to because I have a scholar's degree, Jesse. Now, if you don't know the definition of a scholar, it is somebody with a graduate level of education. Now, right? But, but, All right, Jesse, wait, wait, now so, answer his question. So don't now answer my question. Do you have a master's of science degree? Yes or no? I do not have a master's okay, degree. Then we are not peers. So sit down, class is now in session. Yep. Okay, and I'm going to school you. Ooh, you got mad when I called you out on that no. physics degree, no. didn't you? Hey, Jesse, oh, you're going to need to be Jesse. quiet and stop interrupting JM. I muted that. him. Hey, hey, JM, I muted okay. him. I'm Jesse, not, you're not going to have to stop talking over JM because he has a master's in science, and you don't. I'm and you don't. I'm not mad, Jesse. Okay. I so. have no. I've never ever. In fact, you can go to my website www.jmtruth.com, and both of my degrees are on the front page. I've never said I have a physics degree, but you neither did Einstein, neither did Galileo, neither did Newton. And I've, so the 
the argument you're asking me is irrelevant. Yep. The definition of a scientist, sit down, class is now in session, Jesse. The definition of a scientist is someone who makes observation and runs experiments and studies the natural world. Yep. That's called physics. Okay? That's called a physicist. Nathan also is a physicist. So is... <laughs> oh, this is great. A definition of a scientist... I'm a physicist. Someone I'm a physicist one. then. Okay. Well, you're not a very good one. <laughs> so we're all physicists. So we're all peers. I, no, 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 we're not peers. No. But the definition of a peer but is... we're all physicists. Well, if you run a phys if you run physics experiments, then yes, you're a physicist. But based on your Thank knowledge you. base, you're not a physicist because any true physicist will tell you. In fact, I can't remember his name now, but he, he was from the British uh, Cambridge School. Admitted that mass does not is not affected by gravity, and gravity doesn't exist. So I'm not sure where you got your physics background, and because you don't know your degree, but if you have a physics background, you don't understand mm -hmm. physics. Because if you did, you wouldn't use gravity as an argument when it is an extremely weak argument. Yep. So, so can I get some thoughts out? Then I'll give you plenty of time to respond. Just let me Absolutely. speak. It's two versus one. Give me my shot. Yeah, no. It's not two versus one. Nathan apparently now is neutral, so. Go ahead, guys. I'm on mute. Uh, okay. So I came into this call, and I had no idea who you were. You claimed that you were a physicist and a research scientist. I am. So I didn't I, claim it. I, I am took, I, 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 dude, I asked you not to interrupt me. So, again, you claimed you were a physicist and a research scientist. I took you at your word. I gave you the charitable interpretation, and I said, wow, maybe this guy is a physicist, has a physics degree. No, no. Go ahead. Okay. My name is Joshua Michael. I own jmtruth.com and jmtruth TV on both Facebook and YouTube. I'm a 12 year military uh, medically retired veteran from the United States Army and a. Um, well, that's good. That's good. Yep. Yep, yep. I'm sorry. Fight the flock, fight the flock, fight the flock.